Signs Tarot. This is a daily love reading for the sign of Taurus for the first of... I almost said the first of May. Well, the first of May is in Taurus season. That's interesting. Okay, maybe this is a message for somebody born on the first of May. Who knows? Okay, it's for the first of March, though, 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Taurians who need to hear these messages today. Holy Spirit, show me the Taurians. Okay, Nine of Wands. This is the wounded soldier and they're heartbroken. Uh-oh. Taurus is not doing very well today, whoever this is. They, they're bruised and battered. They feel stuck. But they're focusing on their work, I guess. Even though that's a burden for them, they feel like a camel. Taurus feels like a camel right now. Like they're carrying other people's burdens, possibly. And they want to move away from these burdens. They want to move away from the heartbreak. And um, they don't want to accept any more bad... Um, any more beatings, basically. Right? They could feel like a doormat a bit. And they want to walk away from this situation. Yeah, they could feel like uh, they're begging. Like they're a beggar or something. Or they, they need to take care of too many people. You know? Either they have to beg for somebody's attention. Or they have to be... Uh, taking care of people who are using them. 36 could be significant. Somebody could be 36 or they could be turning 36 maybe on the 1st of May. <laughs> I don't know because I just said 1st of May at the beginning of uh, the reading. Okay, so what's going on for Taurus? What is going on for Taurus in love? I saw the 10 of Pentacles. They could be married. They could be in a long-term relationship. What's going on for Taurus, please, in love? Holy Spirit, show me what is going on for Taurus in love. Oh my God, somebody's cheating. Yeah, somebody's giving to two people. And this is like, this relationship is subsisting. It's like two people are together, but they're not happy at all in the relationship. And one of them, I think, is cheating. Somebody could be cheating on Taurus, which is what Taurus hates the most. Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, 47 could be significant. Somebody could be 36 or 47 here. These numbers could be significant. Um, they could also be dealing maybe with a Gemini or an Aries, a Pisces, a Cancer. Anyway, this is rejection and this is options. So, this is kind of strange. Maybe Taurus is realizing that they have other options and they're rejecting the person who is uh, making them feel bad. But with the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Cups, like somebody doesn't feel grateful for what they have or they feel... <laughs> this could be somebody who focuses a lot on losses. Somebody who has kind of like a defeated mentality. Somebody could feel defeated. In love and in life in general. Somebody could be giving up on... Um, or they could be confused. Oh my god, look, all the sevens are here. So there's an ending to a, a major cycle. Somebody needs to put an ending to something. That they've been stuck in for a very long time. Somebody needs to move away. That's what they feel like they need to free themselves from a lot of things. They could want to free themselves from a relationship. They could want to... Free themselves from a job, from a family situation, from friends who no longer serve them. Okay, so what's the advice for Taurus? Taurus could be dealing with a lot of things, not just with love. They're not just they're confused and concerned with many other things. <sighs> yeah, they feel like they're blocked. King of Cups, Five of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they could be in a relationship, but there are a lot of arguments. There's a lot of... Um, they're not pleased with this relationship. Neither them or the other person is pleased. A lot of conflict, a lot of arguments. Six of Cups. They could have children with somebody. They could have been, maybe they were with somebody since they were children, I don't know. What's going on for Taurus in love? Five of Wands, Co yeah, conflict, a lot of conflict in love. 
and walking away from somebody that they're with or they've been with for a long time somebody they could have children with okay so that's what's going on they're freeing themselves again they've been wanting to free themselves for a long time and they are now they might even be traveling away from the person they're with they might be relocating yeah again it's emphasizing that they are relocating they could be moving away maybe to another city another country two of cups they could be moving away maybe towards somebody else they could be leaving one situation for another with the two of cups here queen of wands they could be interested in um fire sign possibly maybe an aries or a sagittarius three of pentacles they could also be this could also talk about work they're gonna move away for work somewhere they might collaborate with somebody on some kind of project so who is this person at a distance is this about work or love hmm is this uh, collaboration is this two of cups about work or love eight of cups reversed this talks about returning to something hmm this person's trying to return to somebody maybe somebody from their past they're leaving somebody they're currently with and they're going towards somebody from their past who may live at a distance from them yeah so this is a return it's a comeback to somebody they're returning to somebody from their past yes exactly and this is six the six makes me think of the past this is a love from the past my nose is starting to itch who is this love from the past who is the love from the past so this person could be coming towards taurus with okay this could be a water sign this could be somebody they, they were in love with when they were quite young so like under 30 when they were under 30 knight of cups could be a teenager or a young person so yeah this is somebody this could have been like a high school sweetheart or something like that yes it's true hmm it could be that this person has been manifesting taurus or taurus has been manifesting this person okay so i think this is about love it could also be lo uh, work because uh, probably um, Taurus is moving away from where they are so they need to find work somewhere else I guess so this could be a career reading too yes it is look ace of pentacles they're getting a job somewhere and it could be like their dream job that's interesting they could be getting a dream job somewhere I don't know. knight of pentacles again talks about the job but this seven of wands reverse nine of swords ten of pentacles so they could have been very anxious but it's like now whatever job they're getting is going to bring them a lot of abundance so there's going to be a lot of growth when it comes to all areas of their life okay cool Yeah, Ten of Cups, so they're getting the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, so happy family life and also abundance and leaving a legacy for their family and their children. Wow, big new beginning here. New beginning energy here for Taurus. Look, 31st here. 1st of March. 1st of March, one free. Wow, cool. Maybe this is happening today. All of this stuff could be happening today. <laughs> cool. I hope this helps. Take care. Bye.